Welcome to Phoenix, Arizona, and day one of the UBA's third annual U.S. Pro Training Camp. I'm Paul Crane, so happy to be alongside the UBA's new Director of Sport, former L.A. Laker and three-time NBA champion, A.C. Green. A.C., welcome to the UBA and this big training camp. No, thanks, Paul. Great being here, great being a part of the UBA family. Uh, this season, season three, is going to be a lot of fun, and uh, we got some great guys a part of this, and I'm excited getting a chance to watch them play, and uh, very spirited guys at the same time. And we got to see some of that at day one. The energy at the beginning, I think it's a little more than at the end, oh, certainly yeah. of the day. <laughs> yeah, and that's definitely uh, typical for any uh, training camp session, and it's going to get even smaller for sure. Well, we've already had two practices today. You can see that Strength and conditioning is going on behind us here, but in this camp, we have several returning international players. We have a number of new international players from across North America. Of course, we've got nine new non-resident Indians who are ready to return to their roots in the UBA, and of course, Indian stars who made the long journey here to Phoenix. What's it like to be back? Yeah, it's amazing. Like, I have another chance to play, like, get training here. So. The travel was very hectic. Like we're traveling since 30 hours, but the excitement to get here and train in world-class facilities and train with Coach Jody and John is the best. How was it this time? It is good, it was good because two, two flights of 10, 11 hours, it is good, it is good. You look tired. I was supposed to be tired. <laughs> You're <laughs> right, yes you are. Come around, great to see you. See you. Wow. Excited about going back to India? Real excited, man. Where are you from in India? Uh, Louisiana, Punjab. Punjab. So, yeah, I haven't been there for a while, so excited to get back. Foul shot judge. Great How you leaper, doing, man? Great nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, Manvinder, man but we call him Manny. Nice. nice he's, a, Manny. he's a great athlete. Supreet, Mr. Crossover. Mr. Crossover, love that. Already has a nickname. Evan. All right. Evan? 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 Yep. Nice, nice to meet you, Evan. Great player out of Florida. Cool. Tremik Sutherland. Tremik. Bradley. Nice to meet you, bud. And Dane Smith, he's also a Nike sponsored basketball player. Dane, nice to have you, man. Everyone tired, but also, as you referenced, uh, also excited to be here. It's contagious. <laughs> it is. <laughs> that was a long trip for me. Yeah. No, it's, uh, ex it is exciting. The guys were very, very excited uh, coming in this morning. Obviously, they, I'm arriving yesterday, but coming into the first practice. And you know what? The jet lag wasn't that bad. It didn't appear physically. Well, certainly on the court, but I'll bet they were a lot more tired than they would admit yes. to. Of course, have the guys that came over from India still upside down a little bit, but that's the way it goes. It was day one, practice one, 40 players filling two courts. Needless to say, it was a busy morning. That's an OG over there. That's why it's taken him so long. We're gonna start at the basics and we're gonna build ourselves up very, very quickly. We're gonna be moving up and down the court and you best be ready to go. Our job is to make you more limber. Our job is to give you hip flexibility. that will make you faster, jump higher, and make you quicker laterally. You understand that? Being someone of Indian origin to play with players from India, what's that like? Um, it's cool, you don't see a lot of them, uh, so it's, it's cool to, to kind of see that, see you know, how, how they're playing and 
kind of the level of basketball over there. It definitely surprised me with some of their talent and athleticism. So excited to see them move forward. It was so nice to come and see the American t uh, players as well as the NRIs who are going to be playing with us in season five. So uh, every one of them is good, and it's going to be great competition together. First reaction to the first practice at the UBA was great. Um, everybody is very encouraging. All the all the veterans and guys that have played in the league from before, they're they're very helpful um, in terms of learning the plays. Uh, they, they help the, the the learning curve go a lot faster than I expected it to be. Coaches were great, gave great instruction, and everybody worked hard. It was competitive. It was fun. Really looking forward to getting after it this afternoon. Well, the first practice, AC, uh, everyone lived through it and really seemed to have a pretty good time. Good experience. Yeah, I thought so too, Paul. I did because, you know, considering, yes, they have traveled such a long way for most of, majority of the guys, and then at the same time, uh, to come out physically and mentally and give it your all, you know, for a two-hour practice session, uh, it was a lot. It was a lot, but they, they challenged each other, what I liked. They listened to Coach Jody, Coach John, and the instructions they were given and just really wanted the guys to, hey, let's get going, get your blood going, overcome your mind, the, the mental fatigue that happens a lot. And you know what, that's part of training camp. That really is, and that's what I just try to encourage the guys on the side is, hey, look, this is training camp. It's not supposed to be easy. It's not going to be your best friend, but it's what you need the most when you're trying to prepare for an upcoming season. It's a challenge. It is because everything within you, you want to eat, you want to sleep, and you want to put ice on, and you can't do all three of them, so something's got to give. Well, one player in particular needed some extra ice. It was Varun Ram, who played four years in the NCAA with the ACC's Maryland Terrapins, but the University of Maryland didn't prepare him for this. He banged heads. He looks like he's okay, but uh, he was hurting there for a while. Yeah, Varun, uh, we had a great, it was so funny too, because we had such a great time at lunch today. We sat down, we had lunch, and just was just talking, asking me Michael Jordan stories, Kobe Bryant stories, uh, pre preparation in basketball, and just how do you, you know, sustain playing a long time, and just, you know, things to approach basketball in a successful way. And then he comes out 30 minutes later and he just gets bitten right in the head, basically. And I told him, I said, Varun, look, I said, I was in a playoff game with the Lakers playing the Houston Rockets. And one of my fellow colleagues, Otis Thorpe, bit me in the head in the middle of the second quarter. Went in, I got four stitches and went back out there and finished before halftime and then finished the rest of the game. I said, so you're going to be fine, but it's just a mental thing right now. And the gash did not look good, though, Paul. Yeah, well, when you're 5'9 and going up, you might hit somebody in the mouth and their teeth. You don't have that problem at 6'9". That's nine, true. So, uh, but I mentioned that a lot of international players who played in Season 4 are here at the camp. One of them, Jimmy Scroggins of the defending champion Mumbai Challengers. Jimmy, what's it like for you to reunite with so many and see so many new faces? It is awesome. I am excited to see the new players integrate with the old players and then also for those old players and new players to integrate with the Americans. Um, and then we have the addition of the Canadians. Uh, so it's going to be a fun league this year. I'm excited. I know everybody's going to be gunning for us, right? Because we are the returning champs. So trying to keep uh, old man Alex uh, in shape and, 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 and loose as we can and, and just making sure that, that we'll return to the UBA finals again next season. And it looks like you haven't lost a step at all. Maybe picked one up. Um, I've been working hard. I mean, my uh, military training has, has been a little grueling. Uh, I was out in the field, actually, up here in Florence for the past four days. So I've been out there, no showers, a little bit of rest. So I'm actually excited that I'm out here and I'm moving like I am because I know had I gotten that four days rest and uh, been at home and been able to be in a gym, I'd probably be a step faster. So. So I'm excited to see what happens. Well, Jimmy Scroggins is in pretty good shape even without any military training, but uh, AC, he seems ready to go to defend that title that he won in season four. Let me tell you, I'm telling you right now, Paul, Jimmy is one guy that I would not run, want to run into in the dark alley. That guy's a leader, and now you understand why. High energy, and there's a lot of energy going on here. He understands the reasons for strength and conditioning. AC, you certainly do as well. What about the importance of and the difficulty after two practices to be doing what these guys are now doing with two hours of strength and conditioning? 
It's important. It, it really is because you, you've done the physical and even the mental um, when you have practice sessions itself. But you, you have to be able to speak to your body itself too and, and let the body get fine-tuned um, because you're sort of chiseling the conditioning part of your legs, your arms and limbs out there in, in one fluid motion. But now you go in and now you work on chiseling the body itself and that's where strength and conditioning really comes in at. But the conditioning aspect has to also play a part. So we have some very good coaches and instructors who are really helping them with that. And that plays a big role when you get to the fourth quarter of games and you've got nothing left. When you need to reach down and find something, what you find, you put together here. Absolutely. Well, overall, first day is in the books. Your overall impressions of day one in a situation like this? I thought it was great. Hey, UBA, we got the best players in India inside UBA. This is going to be awesome. And this is just day one. We'll see more and be back with more on day two. AC, thank you. Thanks, Paul. And thank you for watching.